Right, so we need to get the uh, volume here, volume of revolution when this green area is spun around the x-axis. Now you should know that in cases like this the volume of revolution is always pi times the integral of y squared with respect to x. With your x limits going in this particular example from 0 to 2. So put those in 0 to 2. So all we need to do now is substitute for y. So we've got pi times the integral of y squared. Now if y is 3 over the root of 1 plus 4x and we square this, we're going to get 9 on the top and 1 plus 4x on the bottom. So put that in, 9 over 1 plus 4x. And don't forget the dx. And the limits, 0 to 2. Now when I've got a constant, as I said earlier, that is a factor, a common factor, I can actually take it out the front of the integral. It's always good practice to do that. You don't have to do that. It's not going to mean that you're going to get it wrong or lose marks, but it does quite often simplify the integral. So in this case, you're going to end up with the integral of 1 over 1 plus 4x with respect to x. Now for something like this, when you've got a fraction, it doesn't have to be 1 over, but whenever you get a fraction, I would always check to see whether when I differentiate the bottom, whether I get a multiple of the top. Because if I do, it falls into this category, which you should already know. That is, if you've got a fraction, let's say that in the denominator you've got some function of x, then if you differentiate this and you find that you've got it in the numerator, the answer is the natural log of the mod of f of x. I'll ignore the plus c, okay? Now if you have a constant, let's say that you find that there's an a there, you're going to get an a in the answer, okay? Now for this one, can you see that if you differentiate the denominator, you're going to get a 4. And we can multiply 1 by 4 because it's a constant, okay? So we can change this into this integral. We can think of this as a 4 up there and divide out by the constant 4. We still have got the 1 that you see up here, all over 1 plus 4x. We can do this because what we have to adjust by is a constant. If it was a variable, we can't do this. Okay, so what we have now is essentially, and I need to put those limits in, 0 to 2, what we have now is essentially this kind of integral. So the answer is going to be 9 pi over 4, and this is going to be the natural log of 1 plus 4x. So we'll put this in square brackets, the natural log of 1 plus 4x. Now, whenever you integrate, and you end up with a natural log, you should really put a mod sign down here, just in case when you substitute your limits in, it turns out to be a negative value. Okay, so when we put 2 through, okay, let's just put the 9 pi over 4 down here. When we put the 2 through, we've got the natural log of 9. Okay, so we'll just say natural log of 9. We don't need mods anymore because 9 is a positive number. Put 0 through and you've got the natural log of 1. And we have to subtract that value. So that's the natural log of 1. And you don't have to put mod signs around this either because 1 is a positive value. Now, we're asked to give the ex answer in exact form, so certainly don't use your calculator to work out this, otherwise you'll get horrible long decimals which you'll have to round up. So, you know, leave it like this basically. Um, well, I say leave it like this, don't use your calculator. What we can do is two things here. You should know that the natural log of 1 is 0. In fact, the log of, n, of 1 in any base is 0. So this is just going to be simply the natural log of 9. So you end up with 9 pi over 4 times the natural log of 9. Or, if you're not too sure what the natural log of 1 is, 
you can always use the division rule which is that when you subtract two logs from one another this is the natural log of 9 over 1 which still comes to natural log of 9 okay well that's fundamentally the answer but I always like to put units on the end and if you're doing a volume if this was a measurement in say centimeters two centimeters here then the volume would be in centimeter cubes there are no units here just so we would just call them units so I'd like to call this units cubed just to be complete okay as I say you won't lose any marks if you do leave that off but there you go there's the exact answer and that brings us now to the end of this question.